if you have any ideas. Hi, Mart here and welcome back to another episode of Draw Every Day. Uh, today it's gonna be about shading face and I will just go about shading and values in general because I think it's quite important to know these things. Also, the theme of the episode is from the YouTube user named Maite or Maite, sorry, I'm not really sure how the name is pronounced. Yeah, if you have, if you have any other, I don't know, ideas for videos or something you want to know, please let me know in the comments and I will cover it in some of my videos. Let's move to the actual video. So before I start, I wanted to kinda start with types of shadows for the, you know, the shading. Also, I'm gonna talk about shading in Krita particularly because, well, I'm using Krita and so I have a bit of better knowledge with Krita when it comes to shading and I will also paint in a Krita in the background. It's my self-portrait from the sketch I did in a few videos back about self-portraits. Anyway, so uh, let's first talk about types of the shadows. There are more types, you know, the ambient shadow, the cast shadow and stuff like that, but I don't, don't want to talk about these types, but I want to talk about soft and hard shadows. And the problem that a lot of digital artists or artists in general are overusing soft shadows because, well, on faces and on stuff like that, you can kinda hide the not knowing how the structure of the face looks, but it doesn't look good, uh, especially on faces, because, you know, there are so many hard shadows, there's supposed to be so many hard shadows, thanks to wrinkles and, you know, for example, eyes or mouth or, you know, around nose, there are so many hard edge uh, shadows. When it comes to hard shadows, you never go like one color cut another color. It's more like a gradient cut and gradient. That's how the shadows actually works. So for example, if you look at the wrinkles, I have a lot of wrinkles, so you can see me painting them. And if you look at the wrinkles, they are not really like soft shadow, you know, it's not just a, a dark, like soft gradient into lighter gradient or something like the bumpy thing. For example, if I am light like this, it's going light and dark cut, really light and dark cut. So it's like these bumps with cuts here and then starts another bump, see? So don't forget about these types of shadows. They are super important and more common than you think. And you should use them more because it will give the character some kind of uh, defined edges. And you know, if you ever get comment that your drawings or paintings are too muddy or like, you know, too blurry or something, this will give it structure. Anyway, uh, there are also soft shadows. Yeah, uh, these are also common, but these are like, yeah, normal, you can find them on your face or everywhere quite a lot. But the best way how to approach it is not do just one or another, you have to combine them. You know, face has to both, you know, soft and hard. For example, the hard are in wrinkles, soft are more like on the cheeks, for example, or like noses and, you know, chins and stuff like that. You can find these uh, soft shadows as well. Another thing is look at the values first and set up the highest value you're gonna use and the lowest value you're gonna use. Never use total black or total white. This will mess up your values because you'll be like referencing to total white. And if you're gonna go even more higher, like with values, you can't go any more higher. So please don't use total white and don't use total black because if you're gonna use it, that's your absolute ceiling where you can go with the color. And if like in the middle of the painting you figure out, oh, but this has to be darker or damn it, this has to be lighter and you can't do it anymore. So set up some kind of value range and don't go either too high or too low. So you can still go up or down. And another thing is that for example, eye, the white part of the eye is actually not white. 
don't overdo it because it's not as white as highlights on your face, you know, it's not pure white, it's nothing like that, it's more like usually it's good to use complementary color to your skin color but we are in just in values so don't use pure white use some grayish yeah it can be lighter but not too light then you want to use for example some highlights you know some reflections or something like that and you can't do reflection on totally white the highest value you can get you can't go any higher so never use the white on the white part of the eye. Also, don't make too strong differences in values when it comes to shading face, because it's skin, it's your face, and if you're gonna go way too contrasted shades on your face, it will start looking wrong, and it will mess up the whole structure of the face as well. As you can see, first thing I did was to block out the lights and shadows and select the mid-tone mid uh, for my whole painting. And this is really good to know because you, uh, without light sources and without mid-tone, you know, some kind of reference point, you can't shade anything because without light sources there are no shadows, highlights, nothing, so it will be just flat nothing. It will be just black, for example. Anyway, well, these are just a few tips for shading and painting like that. I'm trying to keep these videos short because it's just a draw every day. I might do like a full tutorial on shading, but I will probably include in my coloring tutorial that I'm working on right now. And there will be like more about this in a more detailed way. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow. <laughs>